my craft room, my very messy, messy craft room. It's Jill with Angel Creations. How are you doing today? I hope everybody is doing very well today. I thought I have been missing in action too long. And I thought I'd hop on here and do a little craft. So I have done a lot of the prep work um, beforehand. Just trying to make sure everything... This is a new bottle of glue and I don't know if it's open. Just wanted to make sure it didn't have one of those tabs, you know. So I did some prep work before I got on here. And just to speed things up a little bit. But... I wanted to um, first off tell you all hello and welcome back and if you're new here please consider subscribing um, normally I'm not gone as long as this I was gone a few days um, and the truth of the matter is this is what I've been doing and I thought it would be very boring for you guys to watch I'm making little kiddos masks so um, you know I didn't think that you guys would really like to sit and um, watch me so and that's really been my busy life lately is making all the masks for the kids to go back to school so um, that's what I've been busy with very busy with so today I thought I would hop on here and do a, um, a little craft. I haven't done a craft on here for a while, so I get cords everywhere. Excuse the mess. So this is what, okay, I have to tell you guys, I'm teasing them over at Facebook on my Angel Creations Facebook page because I'm asking people what does one of these wooden boxes and a package of baby shower favors have in common or have to do with each other. And they have to hop on over here to my YouTube channel to see, to find out. So you're gonna be lucky and find out right now what does a baby favor, baby shower favor, and one of the wood boxes from the Dollar Tree. Uh, what, are, what are we gonna do with these today? Well, wait and see. I have done most of the work beforehand. Uh, so you did not have to sit here and wait for paint to dry. So we're going to be using three in all, three boxes in all. And I have painted them inside and out, okay? because I'm going to turn it around so that we don't see the hole in here, which is very cute on its own, but we're gonna be using our drawers this way today. And we're going to be using three all together. So they're gonna stand up tall like that. And they don't all, they're not all exactly square, and they're not all exactly the right sizes. So, we kind of have to go, we have to fudge it a little bit. Also, um, I was thinking I probably am going to keep things like, mm, you know, um, my mind just went blank, but thumbtacks, paper clips, things like that, and um, use this as a desk organizer. So, after this video, I'm going to go back and use a craft stick and just cover up my holes just in case something is a little bit higher than that and will fall out. I don't want it to be a mess. So I'm just going to go in with probably a couple of these craft sticks that you can get at Walmart. You can even get these. Uh, I think these came from the Dollar Tree, to be honest with you. So that is that. And then what I have done is I took the I took the baby carriages apart and I'm only going to be using the hood. This was the hood of the stroller. If that makes any sense. So this is what I have and I took those outside 
and I spray painted those in the black. And now I'm just going to remove those tabs. See those tabs right here? We're not going to use those. So I'm just going to remove those real quick. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, things have been very busy here, but uh, very well. I So that's good. No real surprises here in Florida. Um, Weather-wise, it's hot every day. These are flying all over, but I have a, a little catcher thing here and then a little vacuum to vacuum them up. Has anybody ever seen those? I don't have one of these, but has anybody ever seen one of those adorable little... Um, a lot of crafters use them, and I think you can get them on Am Amazon, but they're like... Well, the one I remember is a ladybug, and it's a little vacuum, and it can clean up your workspace. Let me know in the comments if you have ever tried that. Okay, so you guessed it. These are going to be our little antique drawer pulls on our, this way, on our drawers. Okay, so, and before I can finish stacking these up, I just have the one I have to paint. And I have my trusty hot gun ready so that we can speed that process up a little bit. And also, if I have never shared with you, um, if you take if you take a Febreze one bottle and you uh, once it's all gone and you put water in it, it makes a really nice mister. Uh, a water mister so that you can spray water on because when you are using this Waverly chalk paint which is what I'm going to be using here it's much easier on you if you have already sprayed your wood so I'm just going to start on the inside it just makes it spread easier it makes it go a little further um, it makes it a little easier to work with too, especially watered down in the inside here because it doesn't really need to be perfect and it's kind of hard to get into with um, a rag or a paper towel to wipe off the wax stain. So, and I do, I don't care how wet, my hands can be dripping sometimes, but I will just keep re-wetting my wood. It just is a lot easier and smarter. You save some of your paint that way and makes things go a little quicker. And it leaves behind, I don't know if you can see, but you will see in a minute. It leaves behind the wood grain and that's what I'm looking for. I want it to look like it's been stained with maybe a wind ma uh, um, what's the what's, minwax is the name brand I don't know of stain but you don't have the smelly stain smell and you don't have to ventilate your room and you don't have to wait hours for stain to dry so that is a lot of good reasons to use this I use this almost every single day I craft. There's always something calls for this. And you get this at Walmart, chalk paint in the antique. But I will tell you, if you find it, you better get a few because I don't know, so far nobody seems to know what the big secret is because we're all us crafters that are in on the wax painting, chalk paint, are all looking for Waverly chalk paint at Walmart and having a hard time finding it. So, if you do find it, you're going to want to grab a few. That's all I have to tell you about that. And luckily I have found this and I found a few colors and then my sister found a bunch of 
the smaller bottles of the Waverly chalk paint and she sent me some so I really do have a pretty good selection now on colors but I have not been able to get my hands on the wa on, um, the Waverly ink which is just a pure black chalk paint and I have not been able to um, find any more of this antique wax since this pandemic has started so don't know what the two have in common I guess a lot of people are home and crafting like myself if I didn't have my crafts, oh my goodness, I would be lost. I would be just so lost. What do you guys do if you, um, if you're stuck home and you're not, maybe you like to watch somebody craft, but you don't feel crafty yourself. Do we have any of those people on here? I used to sit and watch people craft when um, I didn't really have the energy to um, sit and craft myself. You know what we don't have handy is a package of baby wipes. We need to open a new one. Also from the Dollar Tree. All right, let me wash my fingers off here just so I don't get this brown all over my heat gun and then I'm just going to dry this up a little bit dry dry it up and then I also um, brought over this it's called fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree to use with my glue hot glue gun and I also brought over this wood glue, which is by Super Glue, the brand name, also from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know um, how each one is going to work, but I knew I wanted this to work, to stay together pretty good and not just hot glue. If it falls over on my desk or... You could put this in the bathroom and you could put your ponytail holders or you could put uh, barrettes, little cotton balls, Q-tips. The sky is the limit with these little boxes. And although they are adorable just the way they come with the little heart drawer or the flower drawer, um, they just didn't match my decor that way and I think that I could make them a little more primitive. Now you could paint these a different color, you could paint these white, you could paint the inside of the box navy blue, um, make it a nautical thing, just so much really. So I'm going to focus on the one side that I think I'm going to glue down here for the most part so we could just get that pretty well done inside and out. Nobody wants to sit and watch paint dry. So, again, I'm going to glue these boxes together with hot glue. And I would use E6000, but I don't have, I don't think I have any more E6000. So, I am going to try... I think I'm going to try the wood glue. That's what we're going to do. But when we get to putting our handles on the drawers, which I think we should do first, and that way they can all be drying. So I'm going to definitely use, because what this is is Fix All. It is also made by the original Super Glue Corporation or company. It says Corporation, and it's it's almost super glue, but it's a gel super glue, if that makes any sense. And I am just going to put one on here, and then I will show you. But it's not going to be that one because, oh, here it goes. Okay. And I want mine facing down. This is 
is a little smelly. Come on, come out. Okay. Okay, let's put this right in pretty close to eyeballing it in the middle here. Get it wrong. We want those facing down. We want that facing down. And if you get a little goof up like I did, then just take your little baby wipe and wipe it away. No one knows. Alright, so we have one draw. Almost put that on wrong. All right, so now I'm going to put the second drawer on right across from its little cut out. So I've had one of those crazy busy days today where I seem to be doing a lot but not much is getting accomplished have you ever had one of the like silly things too like for instance I went out to my shed to get I'll show you here one second I've been sewing mass sewing 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 every day which I enjoy but it's just boring to do on a YouTube channel so that's why I haven't been showing showing my sewing all right so there's a second one I went out to my shed to get this old piece of thing I made a long time ago to put my ribbon on when I used to make the um, mesh wreaths and so I would put my ribbon on my roll of mesh on here and it would slide underneath the ruler to flatten it out and then I it was just a spool holder and um, it's been sitting I kind of had to give up on doing those wreaths because they mesh wreaths were really hurting my fingers so um, but I've been using this spool of elastic and it's a pain because it Either I pull it and it knocks over and falls on the floor and it rolls away, or anyways, just has not been working. So look at Joe, look at what you're doing here. Where is my drawer? Right here. So um, I thought, well, you know what? I have that thing I used to use out in the shed, and I'm going to go get that, and I'm just going to use that this on this way I have to think because I can't talk and shoot them at the same time all right so um, I went out to get that and I came in all excited that this was going to be a new little thing I could do with this little thing I made that was once upon a time very handy for my mesh but guess what this doesn't really have a very big knob on its head there but it is big enough that I can't get those two to work so I'm still at a loss <laughs> it is one of those days like that then earlier, I don't know what the heck happened with my Cricut, but I was just doing my Cricut thing, cutting my fabric, and all of a sudden it completely stopped working. And I don't know what that was all about. So, all right, so let's do this. Let's take our empty boxes that we're going to stack and let's put those together. They're dry and we'll put those all together. I'm going to use 
a combination of the wood glue. Let me try to see what, because these don't all fit the same. And there is one that is bigger, and I want that one on the bottom. Although that looks pretty good to me. So let's do one, two, three. All right, so I'm just going to put some wood glue. Now this is the thing. I'm not sure if this is open or if I have to cut it because I haven't used it before. Does anybody else use this wood glue from the Dollar Tree? Now this is different. There is two kinds of wood glue. One is in the Crafters Square section. That's a little much there, Jill. I don't want that to ooze out, so I'm just going to... One is in the Crafters Square section, and one is in the Automotive section. And this is where I found it, in the Automotive section. And then I'm going to put some hot glue in places where I don't have any wood glue. Oh, that was a little close to the edge. Get that out of there. All right, and now I'm just going to put number box number two right on top. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I actually have a couple of clips here I can use so we can go on to the next. Oh, just dropped one. I have another one. I've been really excited to do this craft and I think it's so funny because every time I do a Facebook Live, by the way, if you don't follow me over on Angel Creations and Facebook, you will want to go over there too because I do crafts over there live. So, but today I'm teasing everybody. Why am I putting that over there? I'm not done with it. This is number three. So see what I've got? So I'm teasing them over there today. I've been teasing them every time. <laughs> I'm sorry, my Facebook angels. <laughs> I need to grow my channel. I need to grow both. So listen. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have any friends that you think, oh, oh, look what I almost did. If you have any friends that you think would enjoy uh, either one of my channels please share with them and help me grow my channel it just helps YouTube um, notice me all the more and um, I'm trying to grow my channel so if you share it with your friends that helps me so much and also comments and thumbs up are also very helpful too so until I get a thousand subscribers over on this channel, I can't go live. You have to have a thousand subscribers to be able to go live, like I do over on, ooh, sliding around here, like I do on Facebook. But until then, it's just going to be videos, which is also good. All right, so here's what we got so far. I'm gonna take one of these clips off and put it here for a moment. Just pressing down, making sure it's nice and tight. And then we're gonna put our drawers in. And that will pretty much be the end of this craft. I did tell you after this, I did decide that I will go back and probably glue in um, some something so that I don't have this big hole in the back. Um, unless you're going to put big things in here that's not going to fall through. You could even put a little piece of cardstock or paper there. It really could be anything. I just have some extra of these cut, so I think I'll just go in and, even if I don't block all of it, I think I'll just put a little stick in there just to block. 
So look, here's our little draw. Now how cute is that? Doesn't this remind you of a little, um, not little, you know when you, um, the only thing I'm going to, I'm going to call it a card catalog at the library. Remember the old card catalogs? Now I could have put this higher and put something underneath this to give it a label too. I just didn't have anything like that so I put mine right in the middle but remember the card catalogs at the library do they they probably I have to say I haven't been to a library in probably six years since my son uh, went to live in a group home because my son and I um, if you don't know I have a son Nate the Great I call him his name is Nathan and he is autistic and he is 33 years old and lives in a group home and does very well for himself. Sometimes you'll hear funny stories about Nate the Great on here. But I really haven't gone to the library since Nate the Great moved out because that was just like one of the things that we did together. And I have a Kim, Kendall, Kindle, so I don't, I just read on that. Anyway, long story short, a card catalog. So I'm going to attempt to get these all in the right slots because I don't know. That's another trick. If you take them out, they might not go in <laughs> to the other place. Is. So this one looks like, and these probably aren't, um, probably aren't set yet either these handles they're on there but I'm not gonna really use them much and so here whoops yep so we gotta find out which one goes and, oh, I just unglued it that's right because I'm telling you it's not set yet let me put my box in here glue that back down my box and look at how sweet is that for thumbtacks or paper clips and so that is what happens when you mix these cute little boxes from the Dollar Tree with these cute little party favors for a baby shower and you get this cute little card catalog how adorable now I'm gonna lay this down this way so that all of my little drawer pulls can get all on there nice and steady you know I want those to stick really good you could have put it this way this drawer is still a little bit wet we painted it last but you could put them this way you could stack nine up you could you could stick another set. You could do a whole long skinny tower of them if you had the right little spot. There's so many things to do with these little wooden boxes from the Dollar Tree. Because I have a million ideas still to do with these. But today I've been teasing everybody and saying this cute craft is coming up and here it is. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope that you enjoyed this and if you do one of these make sure to take a picture of it and show it to me in the comments below and if you are one of my loyal subscribers you will be looking for a word today so we already used box so how about today we use the word baby for the baby shower thing okay baby is the word make sure you put that word in the comments below and on the 24th, which is, I can't see my calendar from here, but I know it's coming up really quick. I already went to the post office to get some boxes to ship out my first Dollar Tree giveaway. So there is one of these boxes in the giveaway, by the way. So um, the strollers only come as a three pack, or I would have given you a hood too, or a stroller, but... Um, <clears throat> they only come in a three pack but make sure that um, if you do this craft you take a picture and let me know because that's just 
I want to inspire you to make these crafts. That's why I'm doing this. So let me know in the feedback. So, and then stay tuned because I also have another Dollar Tree haul for you. So, okay, baby, in the just in the word um, comments below. Have a great day, everyone, and be safe. Wear your mask.